Hi everyone, welcome back to Red Phase. Now it's been a long time since I created a video using Microsoft Access, but I did get a lot of positive feedback before my previous video when I created a simple little input form. But today I'm going to show you how you can manipulate that data and show the data between two date ranges. So, for example, my scenario is I want this report to show me all the deliveries I've made between two delivery dates. So for example, I'm going to show you exactly how it goes. I've got a button here which says date report. When I click it, it comes up with start date. I type in the start date of when it wants me to show me the deliveries up until the end date. And it will show me all the customers, all the quantities between those two range of dates. Nice and easy, nice and simple, and this really isn't going to take you very long. So I'm going to open up a blank little database and I'm going to show you exactly how I did that. First of all, you're going to need to create a query. So in your ribbon, if you go to the Create tab and then go to Query Wizard, I'm going to keep it simple because it, this isn't exactly advanced and you don't want to make it any more complicated than it is. You're going to choose the table of information and you're going to put across all the information you want this report to show. Now obviously I want it to show everything, so I'm going to put them all across. Here it will say, do you want detail or summary? I'm going to keep it detailed because I want it to stay really simple. I just want it to show all the information that's there. And then I want to modify the queries design. I'm happy with the name. I just want to modify the queries design because this is where you're going to get that start date and end date to put, go into it. So here you've got the design view of the query. Now if we go to delivery date, just open that up a bit so you can see. In the criteria row, you're going to want to type in between space open bracket start date and end date. Now hit enter on that. That's all you need to type in. A halfway there, it's as simple as that. We're going to save this query and close that. And then the next thing we're going to do is we want to create the report. We want to create the view of how you want this report to look. So if we go back to create again and we go to report wizard. Now here it's going to say table and queries. You want the query that you just made because you want it to have that start and end date. You don't want it to show absolutely everything on that table. So if we go to query and then put across all the information you want this report to show. We'll press next. Do you want to add any grouping levels? We don't want to add any grouping levels. We just want it to show it as we as we want it. So if we press next, do you want to filter this in any particular way? I'm going to keep it simple and just to leave it as it is. I don't want to make it any more advanced. And here you can just choose how you want your report to look, whether it's in columns, tabs, or just justified when you come around to doing it. I'm going to keep it tabs because it's really it's a, just a really simple report. And I'm going to hit next on that as well. Here you can choose the style, so it adds a bit of colour, adds a, some different fonts and stuff. This can always come after anyway. So if we hit next on that, and then what we're going to do is we're just going to modify the report design just to see how it looks. And we're going to finish that. So here you've got your, you got your title and the header. These are the headers for the information that's going to show. And this is where the information is going to tab down to the right to the bottom of the page until it has to flick onto another page. So that, base, that is basically all we want. Here you can modify it exactly how you want it to look, change colours, whatever. So we're just going to save this and close it. Now obviously I had a button to do this. So on this home screen that I've got here, I'm just going to go into the design view and I'm just going to choose button and drag a button onto the page. Here you'll get your but button wizard come up. All you want it to do basically is report operations and open report. You've only, now you're going to want to find your report that you've just made. Mine's called that delivery table query because it's running off a query so I want to keep it simple for myself. And then all I want it to say is that report. Hit next on that. This is here you can call the button a name 
this is usually for visual basic purposes if you want to go that far into it but I'm keeping it simple, I'm just going to keep it as command 4 and we're going to finish that so here I've got my button now so if I go back into the form view when I click this button now it should come up start date so put my first date in put my end date in that I want the information to show and it's brought up your report with all the date ranges in now if you wanted to this is optional but in my previous one I had two buttons saying go back and print out now if you want that so you can print out this report or just close it to save having to go up to here and pressing close I don't know if you've got your tabs showing when you're using your database it's really easy but if we just go back to the report onto design view all we need to do is just drag a couple of buttons on however the the button wizard won't show up on a report so this is when the visual basic side of it does show so this is going to be my close report button and basically when you've got this close report when you've got it highlighted rather you've got the property sheet on the right if you haven't you can find it in the design tab under tools where property sheet is and it will just go up so here on click if you go to event procedure and you press then the three dots it will open the visual basic side of access here you've got the command 11 which is the name of the button which we've seen earlier and all I'm going to do is do cmd dot close that way when I press that button all it's going to do is close that tab it's as simple as that so if we just close that and close the visual basic that should now be on there and if we already put another button on for the printout again you won't get the button with it come up if I just type print out in the middle and again go to the property sheet of this button on click event procedure press those dots here we've got command 12 now we are going to do do cmd dot print out it even comes up below so it does make it nice and easy for you and we're just going to close both of these again this way when I look at this report if I want to print it out when I press that it will just go straight to the printer whatever your default printer is on your computer and if you press close report it will just it will just close this is coming up because I didn't save it but it will just close and go back to the previous tab that you've got open and that's it that is how you create a date report so on a report between two sets of dates if there's anything else I can help with just leave a comment in the bottom or send me a message don't forget to subscribe and like the video I'm hoping to do a few more for you at a later date Thanks for watching.